that Klaus to pull something out of the his surprise box. Well, let's see what's gonna happen. I'm, I think I'm gonna watch Claws off the beginning of this duel. Like I say, it's a group B2 match. We've got top yellow spawn from Mabel. Rush straight away with the rockets and start. Claws gets the start he wanted. That's a good start by the Orsine one. <laughs> yeah, I could say that again. I mean, it almost went wrong. He had to hit the shots, but he absolutely did so. There's just no way we can criticize him. Nice little trap. A very standard stuff uh, that Madball manages to get out of that. This is not a good position for Claus. The next item is the top yellow and then the red. If he stops wasting time in here, and he doesn't do so. So top yellow did go to Madball, and we've got a couple um, of seconds Claus. left. He's going to be like for the Mega. He gets some damage off it though. It could have gone worse, but certainly it's not picture perfect. It could have gone worse, but oh my god. Oh, no. Well, it's just gone worse right there. That's <laughs> evil versus Cypher all over again. Oh my god. You don't. It, it's fine if you drop to the ground, you can get through the teleporter, but claws. Oh, it, it just went from the heavenly godly uh, start to Sinister to misery and pain. Yeah, those kind of things are what can. Paul is still very young, and I don't think he'll be able to control himself right after that, especially. Because, mm. I mean, in all fairness, he kind of deserved something like that to happen for missing out, for just completely losing control, just not being at the right place. But. Like, he goes to the red and mega, so harsh. but he's not really rotating the yellows the same way Apple does. Yeah, but he went to the Mega. He didn't even show up at the Mega. He had like 10 full seconds true, of true, getting true. self ready there, and he didn't show up. And now he's just paying the price, because Madball's gonna be on the items, and he knows where Claw's gonna be. And Claw's, I think he'll need to take a couple of minutes of the game just to mentalize. Precisely. I see that Golem Goy said that pass for beginners. Well, I hold on a sec. We've got a huge fight over here that Claw's is doing exceptionally well in. And might even be able to hold his own for a little bit. He's going to get top yellow. I, I want to say for any guys who haven't seen Quake before, I've got to say these things. Those timers on the left side of the screen, they're not uh, visible to the players. They do all the calculations in their head whilst fighting and shooting crazy rails like Claus just did. And actually, that's nice. I wasn't expecting to him to get back in the game as soon as he just has. Yeah, that was a mistake from from Edmond. He was busy picking up bottom yellow instead of positioning himself like a man. He kind of did what Claus did. Lose control, then it backfired almost the same way. Yeah, I think Claus is going to be a lot more careful now with the control. It's actually a shame that he couldn't get in the way of Marble and go to top yellow himself. But as long as he can get the damage out, he doesn't have to be a kill, then he'll be looking good. Madball, not to rush everywhere. He needs to stay controlled if he wants to keep the lead that he has. Just circle the L's. I, I'm not sure if for how long Madball will be able to control himself. Or just not rushing to try and get in the fight. But that's what he should try to do. Red over here. Is Madball anywhere near? Claus smells that something's fishy going on. And indeed there was. Madball's on the side. But Claus got away quite nicely with that. They're just kind of scouting each other. Looking out, trying to be intimidating. And Claus now is going to have a slightly hard time. I think he's got to stick to Mega. Yeah, and if he can get a kill over here, if he can prevent Madball from doing just the insane amount of damage yeah, that, that he has. Like, he knew the red was up before, but by not taking the red before, he got a good position on the Mega, got damage on Madball, and all this can translate into a kill now, but he screws up massively in that fight. Oh. All that right. rail saved all, all of what he did. Oh! Bam! Recovery rails. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Great wow. Oh. There's a frag as well. He frag had to get the kill the just then. Otherwise, yeah, he really needed it. Otherwise, not... Madball might have railed him uh, on the way up. Yeah, Madball would be attacking this Mega, and his claws wouldn't have gotten the rail, and instead of dying, he would be probably getting it. Mm-hmm. Claus, you need to get over to the lower yellow. You need to control the yellow armors, I think. Marvel might, if he can get the other one, then he's actually going to be able to challenge with the... But actually, there's a couple of seconds left. There's a fat chance of that happening. Uh, Marvel actually give a, gave away a free frag, basically. And uh, Claus is well on his way into this. Five minutes left. Anything can happen over here, but... 
Uh, I'm suddenly having a second thoughts about claws. Maybe he can actually take this. Five minute warning. Like how he's looking for metal. He could even go all the way into the top or bottom yellow because he doesn't want the nice. item to spawn. There it is, the small delay. And there's Perfect. there's metal. Like even dropping the metal there could have been a good move, but metal already has 176 armor, so he'd need to do it in a very swift and surprising way. There's an egg coming up now, and Metal should be attacking this. He has a farmer. Claws, the first rocket was awful. I, I don't know now, what he was doing. That's gonna be really hard, because if Metal is still on the red, it's gonna be really hard to take him out of there. But Metal, unaware of the timing, of course, because of the delay, but he was still there. Maybe he just thought that he didn't have enough time, or that Claws was still behind it. I'm not sure what was going on in Metal's mind there. He just missed something. It would be a very good opportunity. Did Metal rocket jump up to the top? No, just a fakey. Okay. Nice little jump from Claws, very discreet. This is gonna be a time frag, surely it got railed down to 60 health, but he's looking good. Red armor is taken oh. by Madball. Wow, if Madball goes down to the Mega. Ma oh my oh god, Madball, just this is Christmas for the. You can't call him the Belarusian. Right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the he got all of the armors in the Mega, he got the top yellow. I mean, he got the, the red, dropped yeah, down everything. to the rocket launcher, got the top yellow, dropped to rail, saw the mega, bottom yellow, and now he's at the red. He's having astonishing control of the map. I don't know how close he's going to survive from this. That's just, he, he died, the game was tied, and then suddenly Madball inherits 200-200. Yeah, and Claus just needs to survive right now. Can he oh, this could survive? be big. If he can get on no. the mega, he doesn't do it, but the LG's good misses the rail. It would have put, it wouldn't have killed Mabel, but it would have completely crippled him. But yeah, if he actually shame. got the mega. Even if he didn't get the frag, he'd be able to attack at the red. And now, Mabel, look at the timings on the, on the screen. He can just circle all the items. He doesn't even need to care about, about claws. If there's any way to drag a positive out of this for claws, it's the... At least the mistakes were made earlier on, early enough on in the game where he can recover from it. He's trying with the rails, but he's not really hitting anything, and he's just losing more frags. Yeah. Now the positives that may have been there are starting to dwindle away. Lower yellow, can claws get on this? No chance. Nice movement actually from Marvel. He's making these jumps very smooth actually. Claws trying to get in his face, does land two rails. It's going to be important, but he's going to need to hit a lot more than that. If he wants to get himself a chance in the next 30 seconds or so. He's going to hit even more now. His Madball's stacking up and taking no further damage. Oh god, Claws, he just got to get away. Oh, this is horrible. And Mabel definitely showing why he is a better, more experienced dueler here in the Belarusian scene. A long time till items are up. Mabel, is he going to just push in? The yellow spawns right now. Ooh, actually. Something might have just turned around a little oh. bit. Mabel's lost, lost a little bit of health and Claus spots it and why hits the rail. Why did he come back? Like, if he goes away to pick up 50 health, he just can't come back. He, he just lost position right there, and he just gave Claus a very big opportunity. Let's see if Claus can take advantage of it. Going He's just diving. Back. He's going That's for it. Frag. All the way. Oh. oh my god, that was so, so crazy. Don't close. go for the red. Jesus. Well, he's taking an okay route now. It, it looks sketchy, One but... Okay, he's the got... Top yellow is not up either. He needs to get fast on the mega. There, there he is. That's mega for him. Okay, one okay. entire minute, Madball on 50 points of armor. He can just think about how he wants to get this frag. There's Madball. This is going to be a frag rocket. for Claws, he's going to chase through yeah. this, go through the teleporter. Two nice health for, for Madball. Two health. And Claws, if he gets this red, he can actually turn this into a lead now before we get to overtime. There's some yellows up, he's got all the ammo he needs, Madball's going to get top yellow. Oh god. Claws, you can't afford to get into an overtime. You need to finish it off right now, basically. It doesn't matter if you're weak afterwards. Yeah, you just go. Just go now. Go. He needs to cut him off somewhere. 
Okay, he's going. He knows he's there at the bottom. Yeah, oh, there's Claws. I mean, Mad Ball. Go, chase, go up chase, and jump Chase, chase, chase. Just go all the way for it. Claws, you can take there this person back from the back. Five seconds. Well played, Claws. Getting in that. I thought I counted him out for a little bit, but Mad Ball slipped up. I think he went easy on him when he really shouldn't have, and Claws fully taking advantage. 15-year-old Belarusian player taking us to a tiebreaker. Listen to what? We haven't... You're saying that. Mad Ball hasn't played his map yet. But to be honest... Oh, yeah, this probably, is the first one. You're probably right, because this is the first he one. had to win that map, I think, because Toxicity yeah. is going to be very, very difficult for Claws. <sighs> yeah, I honestly, I don't think I've seen much of Claws on, on Toxicity. If Mad Ball can do to close what he did to Genon, then it should be a pretty easy match. And we'll be able to go over then to Cure to settle the tiebreaker. But this would be an amazing win for Claws, actually. If he can beat Mad Bull, then he can start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, which would indicate uh, playoffs for him. And uh, we're into the second map. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow Mad Bull off the beginning. Claws did get the lower yellow spawn. Mabel's going to be able to get himself the railgun very early on, which is always uh, nice to have under your sleeve. This is Sun's start with that much more balance in last time around the boss. Mabel's failing! You have lost failing hard. I don't know that's what he was aiming at. Claws. I don't no idea. It wasn't Claws, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, he's got a chance to redeem himself a little bit over here. We've got Mega up in a couple of seconds. Claws, who gives a really optimistic rocket shot, and that just killed all the time he needed to actually yeah. do real damage. Madball's position changes with, with that kind of gave him the, the frag there. Now let's see if he can extend it. Ooh, that was a lot of damage right there. It was, actually. Also helped Claws get away a little bit, but not with much health remaining. Reminds me a bit of a Sinister actually, Claws getting an amazing start and then it all went to crap very soon after, but he's done the damage and he's getting back into it even faster than he did on Sinister, so... Look at well, his The way he flicks those rails, he just main it. It reminds me of Sparty actually. It's so, yeah, it's so vicious. It's like he's, he's slapping the rail on Madball. <laughs> He can get himself another kill. Oh, he's not, he's not going to chase through there. Oh, another one. How did he hit that? I don't know. <laughs> he's, he's just... He's, he's like Cypher. He's exploding right now. He's a... He's a... Belarusian quake he could, prodigy he could, here. He could take down Madball in 2-0. I'm calling this, game, this group to have a three-way tie. Really? Uh, for the second place. So Gino needs to take down Claws after. If this is 2-0... I mean, WTF. I had to put it in such a horrible way, but. I mean, we've seriously. seen Claus do well at the qualifiers, we've seen him do well at the first group stage, now it's time to see him do well at the second group stage. Yep, yep. Oh, is this gonna give away red? That's unfortunate for Claus, but he should still be able to get the kill? He cannot lose much damage right now. Just go for the rails, but don't go for the LG fight. The LG fight should be awful for him, and that's why. Ow. That's why, because I mean, if anything, he should have just gone through the teleporter and tried to land the rail, or just fake that he was going to shoot the rail so that he would always get position on the mech because Metal wouldn't go through the teleporter. But now he just lost control because Metal can get a frag easily, and he has the red pickup as well. I think he just got a bit greedy. It's like, damn it, you took my red, you won't get away with this, and uh, well, he ended up just killing himself. In a much like, cuter voice because he's 15 years old. Six, sorry. I'm not gonna do Scooby Doo for him, though, okay? Oh, one health left for Madball. No way. Is there, any, is there any health anywhere? Actually, it's fine getting armor, no. but anything would kill Madball at the moment. No health on the bottom. Does Claws just machine gun bullet? It's too late. It is too yeah, late. This wasn't good for Madball at all, because he spent so much time looking for those resources, and Claws now he's 300 collective weapon armor. Like, when you're in those situations, no help is up, just kill yourself and get the weapons again so you can get back controlling the map. Especially on this map, you need to be on those items. And Metal now, he wasn't, and he was forced to hit those rails, and luckily for him, he did hit those rails. Yeah. But if you don't, you're gonna be nice. screwed. I think 
Mad Wolf's just trying to get back into it a little bit. That cl Claws has got these nice little cheeky attacks, which just get rid of so much health and armor from Mad Wolf. Like, he, he can't really, like, he was getting to that stage where he was thinking, right, I'm I can go super aggressive right now. And then Claws oh my God, does that damage. Claws is one of three rails in a row. Yeah. Mad Wolf should be 200 to under right now, but should he's available. <laughs> Claw's gonna come in. Is he gonna come in for a little? A little oh, he will. He will, and he's gonna <laughs> land it as well. <laughs> oh, and that was, if, it, if he had even one point of health more, then his armor would have soaked up um, the damage needed to survive. But Claw gets away with it. Uh, but look, he's only on starting stack, so it's not like he's in uh, a magical place at the moment. Oh, and back to Maggie, if Claws lets him take this without doing at least 150 damage, he's gonna be suffering. He did around 40. He's gonna have a really hard time for the next minute. Unless he does one of those crazy attacks. Yeah, I like the crazy attacks. I kinda don't want Claws to put too much energy into this though, because I think he run out on the tiebreaker. This is gonna be so much harder for him to win than Cure. That if I don't he know, does he's kinda on a roll right closely, now. But... There's one of crazy attack, and he did enough damage. Bang. Nine seconds for yeah. the mag, all he needs is a weapon right now. And not to receive a rock. Still four seconds, he has time. Just go on the mega. One. Oh, oh Starting stack. Time to beat uh, at the red. There he is. Yeah, I mean, he might have lost the lead, but it's, he can definitely get it back over here. Barely himself though, and now 26 health, although there should be a railgun of uh, Mammal oh, to worry no, about. No. What are you doing? <laughs> are you oh doing? my god. Plus, you're not old enough to get into pools like that. Well, <laughs> I don't think anyone is to jump into acid. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Oh, the famous uh, acid baths of Portugal. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, nice combo from Claude and another rail. He takes it's, nothing. He is and rail. Gets everything. He's completely on right now. He just needs to keep using it as much as possible. Look at that. Metal even trying to come up with a rail himself, but that's not going to be for nothing. Awful position. The young Belarusian gets his eight frag. 65% rails with 60 presses. Really? What? That's 19 out of 29. That's a huge amount. Rail at the end, rail at the end. Oh, he pre-fired a little bit on that one. He's, he's gonna miss he's, next. He's like going for really hard shots, just flicking everywhere. Not seriously caring at all about his, his accuracy. That's that's very aggressive though. Why did he do this? This is why people should have grenades. Be, use grenades more often. You can just spam grenades there. Oh god. He, that would have probably been a frag. Or at least a mega for him. And now he's forced to attack at the red. And he is attacking because Madball does not have the LP. So, we can land it. Oh, nice little uh, rocket prediction from Abel, but he's still sitting on nothing, and even getting the health bubbles is a little bit scary in case my, uh, Claws turns up. We've got one rail, we got two uh, rails. Oh, the oh. acid! <laughs> Not again, Claws. Uh, he just keeps hitting these shots. Oh, he misses that one, though. Marble maybe surprising him with that jump. And again, left with 14 points of health. This isn't over though, this is not no, no, over. No, not at all. It, this game is way too fast right now for this to be over right now. Oh! 18 points of health, what is this? And he is gonna get bottom yellow. 150 points of arm and 18 points of health. Oh, what a relief for Madball to get his health bubbles. Got one rail from Claws. We got two rails, have we got a third? Claws! Oh, no, we don't. 40 points of health. Madball's leaving with nothing, and Claus is gonna defend that with PHP. Oh, that! How did he miss that? That's mega for for Madball. What? Well, I don't know how he's hitting them though at the same time. I have no idea. Oh, There's the PHP. Up. Finally, but now Claus has a very good stack to play with. He's gonna start aggressing madly. Uh, yeah, you yeah, can say the... madly again, but oh, he gets the rail afterwards. Madball. Right. Barely had under 80 health. Yeah, Claws Rail are really putting him in the game right now. If it wasn't for that, he'd have lost this game a long time ago. Mm -hmm. This is it, I think the game's still so insanely hard for Claws and Mabel keeps hitting these rails. 19 health left for the elder Belarusian. I, I don't know how, how old, how old Madball is, actually. Well, as long as he's 
older than 15, then... Maybe he's 14. <laughs> I don't think so. We, we'd know about that. We'd know about that. He's at the more the more standard uh, Quake age, about, I don't know, 20, 21 to 30. Warning. <laughs> <laughs> People are coming. Like, SP1 minute ago, this is very possible. Four frags in 50 seconds. This is the fastest map in this pool. There he goes, he's gonna rush. Claws only. I mean, Metal only has the rail. That's gonna be a frag. Three frags to go. Oh. One second. Could be another one. It should be. Oh, he gets him before the teleporter. He's got to rush red. He's going to pick it up. Now he's got enough resources for these last 30 seconds. Mabel, he took his foot off the gas pedal and might end up paying for it. Good damage here from Mabel. Holy hell. These shots are getting so oh, close. Oh, the rail. How much, health, how much health does he have? 20. Rush him, Claws. Rush him. He's Claws jumping is away. At 200 ping. He was at 200 ping while he was hitting those rails. Now what? he's back on 50. I don't, I don't get how he's doing this. Oh, he's got oh, no he time, though, anymore. Five health left. Mab will finish it off, and he is going to bring it to the tiebreaker map. But holy cow. It was close to going 2-0 for Claws just then. Yeah. I wonder, really though, because he really had to try hard to try and win this game, and he didn't. Has he run out of steam for the next map? Yeah. Because he's going to need that rail, unless it's Lost World. Well, he's he's young and he's full of energy, so hopefully he'll be uh, absolutely fine. But it, it is it does take the wind out of you when you put your heart and soul into a game. You get it really close, and you know that it means a lot, and it gets you to that kind of next stage of seniority in the in the tournament. And um, it all just goes down the drain in the end. So hopefully, Claus is going to keep his mind in this sure. one. It's, it's sure a very good map for Claus as well. Pardon? This is a very good map for Klaus, yes. especially the way he plays it, 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 it just plays based on the surprise factor, which can be a, a great advantage this map. So there we go, tiebreaker between Klaus and Madball. I want Klaus off the beginning. Uh, guys, Evil Games should be happening next. We were hoping for Gennel versus Evil, so look forward to that. Oh, we've got a fight straight away over the red. Klaus moves in with the LG. He was hitting hard, but you got to be careful in that choke point. And... Mad Ball gets both the red and the mega. Thanks to that. Yeah, he used but your LG uh, aggressive te technique with a well, not with a twist. Exactly that. Yeah, with a, with a, a twist. I would have personally stopped aggressing as soon as Mad Ball went to the as as when he took the first rocket. And now he's paying the price again. He, he needs to stop going aggressive for a second. But thing is, he knows he's a little bit more stacked than Mad Ball, so he's going to be attacking this mega right now. Not sure from when yet. And Madball is way too early. Where, where's Claus? This time he's not being aggressive when he probably had when a better he chance be, of yeah. damage. He, now if he was aggressive. And Madball is taking a long to get on this red as well. Oh, Claus, he oh. shoots the rail. I don't know if he had the LG at that point. He's looking for some damage. Almost that gets another crazy, rocket like, off. Yeah. After shooting the rail and the rocket, if the third rocket was direct, he'd actually get the frag. Close, but no cigar. Way too young for cigars, Claus. Okay, we gotta stop making those jokes. <laughs> well, he's planned, tag is MJ. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, we sure Cypher taught him that as well. <laughs> well, what stack is Claus on? Go on, let's, let's keep it professional. We are, we are so professional. Well, he's on 100, 100. Oh, really? Sweet. Oh. oh. Yeah. In the job. It's still going. Oh, God. There's a really awkward drop though for Mabble. Like, he can't do that much damage until Claws actually hits the ground, just because the angle is catching him off. God. Oh. Oh. That Two direct focus. Yeah. Oh god, Claws, you're getting up in Mabel's face over here. He's mad. I don't think he's going to be stepping off the gas pedal anytime soon. He wants this win. After beating Gen on it, only makes sense for him to get a victory against Claws. And that pump close to getting a, a kill for him. For the end lad. Yeah, it stands for Michael Jackson. 
Mona Jisa, what are you doing, chat? <laughs> I don't want to say I don't want to say that uh, Claws isn't going to come back in this, but after seeing the last two maps, I feel like this is a bit anticlimactic. Well, if Madball keeps having the rail out and not landing Yanni, well, try coming back on this. I mean, that was, Jesus Christ, Madball, he did the whole 100 damage <laughs> during I don't know 30 seconds. If he didn't drop, he actually would have been fine as well. He could have just walked away and it would have been as if nothing ever happened. So this this is it. This is the part where Claws has got to play perfect. He's got the railgun now, so expect great things from it, maybe? Less than 50 health. Uh, oh god, nice drop from Madball. And that 8 frag difference is right back in his hands. I think uh, we're saying about Claws, maybe... Losing the energy after that close second map may yeah. be applied to this because he's. I, I don't feel like he's playing up to a level that he was on during toxicity. Well, I've got to say though, Madball's plan totally worked. He managed to make Yinon and Claws adjust uh, their game pace to a pace he would suit Madball, which is extremely fast. And. They're just, they just can't really play it when the, the map isn't suited for a fast-paced game. But, uh, hopefully, if the game continues going the, the way it is at the moment, hopefully it means that a game that we're going to get claws between Kianon, claws between Ricky, that could be really exciting matches, actually. I'm looking forward to seeing though the evil games course. I think some of the highlights of the day are going to be evil versus Marvel and evil versus Ganon. Just so that we can get a taster of uh, that world champion level. Well, Marvel moving back this time. He's not being uh, cocky anymore like he may have been before. And Claws drops down. He's got the rail out, so he is going to try and take his advantage of that. As much as possible. Uh, BSC Tommy. Yes, strength is still in. He played two games yesterday, and I believe he's got another two games to play. He'll probably, uh, he'll probably be seeing them either t uh, later today or tomorrow. Claws, I don't know how you're going to get back from this. Even, even to try and make it a close game now is going to be... Well, you're, you're going to need a miracle, basically. Uh, Rockets are, are nice. Is he going to come in for another one? He should have known that he'd done a lot of damage. <laughs> what a read from Madball, actually. I wasn't sure that Claws was positioned over there. Any intel on uh, Ganon versus Evil? Well, Ganon's watching this game. Oh, is he? Okay. Well, he was. Go see if Evil's uh, got a server or something. I think this this game is getting. It's just a misery now for Claws, really. And there's no way this this, this is what the score should have been on Toxicity. Oh my God! I can't believe Evil was sitting on server in the full game. Uh, you need the server. Oh. Uh, we got the server because we can go to that right now. Yes. All right, uh, guys, we've come to the end of this series, so we're going to be moving over to Evil this versus Kianon right now. Fast and Kianon, which for us, but uh, let's move it over. GG's though to Marble taking that series two to one. Fair play, Claws. Though I think you made a point. You are good. You are definitely good. Now, where is? The, the server. Alright, I've got I've got the um info.